Uh, 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 hey everybody! Uh, 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 hey Jay to all y'all. Welcome hello. to Replay, where uh, today we're celebrating a new musical, aren't we? We are, in case you missed it or want to watch it again. We released another ice cream song on our channel today. It's called Ice Cream Fun. I like that every time I try to sort our files, like while we've been working on this, it's been trying to grab all the Ice Cream Man ones. And I'm like, not Ice Cream Man, Ice Cream mm. Fun. It's the new one. Um, but that's been a little bit confusing. Hopefully you guys don't get them confused because they're completely different videos, very different songs. I feel like we tried to make the thumbnail look a completely different color, so. Yeah, and this one is but. much more focused on Rod. There's almost nobody else in the video but him. It's true. Um, before we get started today, we should introduce ourselves. Um, so I'm AJ, and I got to play Rod and voice Rod. Oh, uh, I'm Nate. I got to get harassed by Rod. <laughs> I do that on my daily I was basis the plubby well. kid. The plubby kid. And now I'm the plubby adult. Did we decide to call you Charlie? Is that the I think we decided that my character is based on Charlie yeah. from this game. But he is like very roughly just a plubby kid. In in name only, basically. Yeah. And we got a disembodied voice. Hello. Voice. My name is Gwen and I built Rod. <laughs> you built me. Oh. It's a very cool costume. You even built it twice. I did. I built it twice just to be able to show you guys how I built it, which means there is a video on the channel if you want to know how I made Rod's head, uh, and you can see every step of the way, and maybe even uh, make your own if you want. You can go terrorize kids yeah. in your own neighborhood. If you need, if you need a sick new quarantine mask, hey, <laughs> you're right. Got, hey, yeah, hooked up. It's pretty good. It does actually work. I forgot. I like, could totally walk in the store with that on, oh and they just goodness. let me in. It's not so. good for visibility, though. Not really. There's <laughs> no. a blooper that'll be out next Friday where you can see the visibility is dicey. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we have a couple other people we should uh, also introduce that are part of our channel and especially here in Replayed. We sure do. We have two moderators in our chat today, Neff and Joe and Malcolm Howard. Oh. Um, they've got little wrenches next to their name and their names are in blue. And they're just here to help keep everything running smoothly, to enforce some of our rules like not spamming, not asking for shout outs. Um, and also to answer some questions if we don't get to them. Um, we will, of course, be trying to answer some questions. Uh, if you put the word question in all caps, it'll help us get uh, some attention to it. Uh, and if we don't get to it, they know the answer sometimes and they'll That's be true. helping us out. Exactly. So thank you to our mods for being here. And thank you to you guys for respecting our mods. The last group of people we need to thank before we get started... Our some Patreon ask, encounters. I was going to ask what this was. We got three sponsors of this episode, and they are, ooh, where's the name? Kevin Orfield. Kevin Orfield. <laughs> We've also got Brighton Grisham into the warp pipe with you, Brighton. And lastly for this episode, we have uh, Jesper Nielsen. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys, and our other Patreon encounters. You guys not only sponsor replayed episodes here, but you're also helping pay for things like masks and props uh, for musicals on our main channel. So, yeah, without... Patreon encounters, we couldn't probably make a lot of the music videos that we make. Thank you guys for doing that. And if you want to join them and maybe hop in our warp pipe, you can go find the link in the description below for our Patreon site. All right. I'm too excited. I need to get into this game. All right. Uh, I think it's we're, time. We're going to play. Okay. Uh, normal speed. Here's some noises. Three attempts. Seems reasonable. Okay. Uh, we're going to play. Then. Cool. Okay. There's a little cut scene. December 1982. You guys might remember, we played the first game. We didn't do too well on it. Look at all these plubby kids. Oh no. So this takes place after the first one where he's lived through it. The day after Ice Cream 2. I like how his computer is a pineapple. <laughs> oh. It's not an apple, it's a pineapple. Oh, you can interact with the keyboard. Oh, I did. Now I've got the window and press the interact button. Oh. Oh no. Huh? Don't play with me. Give me the ice cream. Hi, Jay. Hi. AJ hey, is what you actually mean. <laughs> hey, Jay. Uh, I saw comments on oh, today's no. video being like, I expected Gwen to play this girl. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, not no. a very big part. I get oh, frozen no. early. Yeah. Okay, so before you go anywhere, you've got some important stuff maybe to do in your bedroom oh, here. language. All right, so I would recommend take a look and see if you have a slingshot in this room. We're playing on, obviously this game is on mobile only, so pardon my, uh... Diciness? Diciness with Try controlling. Try pitching that out the window. Pitching Not only are they playing on mobile, but they're playing on my phone, which neither of them usually touches, so... I mean, it's not know far how. different from my phone. The I problem is, to like... Toss things. Toss things. No. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh, well, now I don't think it's useful. Oh, no. 
I think it only had one shot. Uh oh. Well, that's okay. Maybe it's not useful to us. Okay. So we'll Get pretend that window. that was successful. It won't matter now. Well, you're gonna it stays on the window. That's great. That is great. How are you gonna get out of this window? Uh, probably a rope, like in the first game, maybe. You think that, but I don't think so. I think they changed it for this one. My dude, you can hear this guy. The cat just came in, and he's clawing at the furniture over here. The furniture, my dude. Really? Really? We feed you and take care of you. Uh, the chat wants to know why we decided to make an Ice Cream Man 2, or Ice Cream 2, or whatever. It's cats. I mean, we did like three baldies. It seems like we could afford to do two <laughs> Ice Cream Mans. It does, doesn't it? Uh, you're going to want to take the sheets off your bed. Oh, oh. just help oh, you out with that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then you should be able to use them to make a rope. Um, cool. So, yeah, we partly decided to do this because it was something we could pull off during quarantine with very few people. Um, which we actually, you know, already had to do once with this game, but we came back to it going, this is another, you know, game we know we can do with How very few people. How do you make this into a rope? I didn't think you had to. I thought you could just you take just, it to the... Uh, I, I, there you go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Not interact with the window to exit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just getting out the window is uh, apparently harder than I would have expected. And you won't get in trouble. All right. Now, you might remember uh, that he drops you a map that you're going to need. Oh, that's right. But they gotta like show you that you can hide again. E. This is catch. The chump flubby ones. I like how we zoom in on his butt here. You're like, oh, he like just had stuck He's in his pants. Like a broken leg, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you didn't catch that, yes, that is the same song that we have a musical about. Which is the other reason we did this. Because the moment I heard him singing that. I went, we can make a jazzier version of that. We can do an entire song for the bad guy of the ice cream games based on this, like, two-sentence little thing he sings just wandering around. He, like, ad-libs a little silly song. I'm like, we could make a legitimate song out of this, and it'd be oh, no. really cool. Ooh, no, he's after you. I can hear it. He's going to keep following you. Uh, it doesn't make that sound when he's after you, does it? Yeah. You should be able to just outrun him going around in circles, to be honest. But. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Uh-oh. Better outrun him. Just get around the truck a couple times. Do you guys have a favorite part of the new musical? Either a line or a scene to shoot or anything like that? Favorite line or scene to shoot? Um, <laughs> you're going to hide behind the middle. I box. really don't like digital analog sticks. I know. I really wish you could play this with a controller instead. That would actually be pretty cool. There you go. Put it up on the bulletin board. Get on the bulletin board. Ooh, ooh. No! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, favorite part. I feel like... Oh, no! That's not going to work. I pressed look. Here, you, you go. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, they a, just started us back here again. Give me a controller. All right, well, we still have Digital a way out. Digital analog. Ugh. Sorry, ooh. what was the question? Favorite part of something? Of this new musical. Oh, um... I, I think my favorite down, part so is Rod dancing in the like circle <laughs> place where we filmed uh, Sonic the Shadows Big Fight. Yes, many people it's have a, pointed out, I feel like. It's a good place for a showdown. Can this guy leave? I don't uh, want to come down there. Hmm. I like Rod's morning routine. Morning being a loose term because like, his alarm goes off at like 7 at night to wake up. <laughs> All right, we need to go to the cinema first. Oh, okay. Now I have a, a I think 17 step cheat sheet um, that I kind of wrote down for what we're supposed to do. Oh, we get another cutscene. However, the 17th step is you're on your own. March 1954. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why am I so different from others? <laughs> oh. This is a weird game. Because, at least here in America, I feel like a lot of us have this experience. <laughs> Maybe, like, because I'm pretty sure the publishers are from Spain or something. Um, so, yeah. this might be, like, a more, like, fictional experience for them. But here in America, this is, like... Think noodles. We have a lot of this kind of uh, experience, actually. I like how the evil nun has her, like, own cola Nun brand. cola. I know, right? It's pretty good. All right. So, we need to... Sneak out here, and we need to go hunt through people's stuff. 
my favorite thing to do. What is this, a plushie? I don't know why it's in their trunk, but... Hmm. No, no, no. What are we looking for? We are looking for two things. Either a bottle of perfume oh. or a toolbox. I mean, actually, we should find them both. I think that'd be the best. Uh, uh, no, y'all got nothing in your trunks. Also, this... Oh! He was apparently <laughs> behind was, you. Was the music playing? Oh, maybe we should turn the music up on our end so we can hear it. Yeah, I'm like, was the music there. even playing? I don't know. I didn't hear it. I feel cheated. Well, we are supposed to come here at some point. The weird, like, the second to last step I had on my sheet was get caught, which is kind of ridiculous. And I don't know if you can do this without having that experience or what. Let's see. The toolbox. I've been caught now. I was going to say, good on me. I got caught. Hey, weren't we I'm looking great. for those in Granny? Yeah, we were. Um. What do we, how do we throw things? This bottom one? Yeah, the okay. bottom button. Cool. All right. Um, the chat would like a hint as to where the beard is in the new what? musical. <laughs> what? I don't I'm think a they're actually. Surprised. I don't think they're actually. I think, I think you're being a bunch of jokers. Because uh, he's not hidden very well. He's, he's not really hidden at all. Yeah, so I would say not hidden. Watch it again and uh, <laughs> just pay close attention to. Uh, What's Rod doing the out characters there? characters in it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's like the best. Just uh, the actually watch it again. Just, Just watch it again. There we go. Why is Rod so angry outside? I don't know. No. Hey, I, I want that. I want it. Uh, oh. yes. Oh. yes. Uh, <laughs> there. Okay. Uh. Woo. All right. Yeah, I give props to anyone who can like effectively play these games on mobile, because I can't. I can't with the digital yeah, analog. Yeah, it's definitely... I can't keep such, track of where the buttons are going that's to That's why be. I'm constantly looking down, because I'm like, yeah. I don't... I, obviously, you're playing on mobile normally, not on a TV, so most people are just looking at their screen. Rod, can you... Can you not... I don't even know where he is right now. Oh, he's lurking. I was hoping he would come up to his hammock, like in our musical, and take a nap. Because then we have a... There he okay, is. Okay, good, 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 good. I should be able to get out much more easily. Rod is napping. Try not to make noise to wake him. Try not to make noise to not wake him. Try not to not make noise to wake him. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, I didn't. Uh, how about you? I need you two. Go on. Go on. I see, part of the problem with these games is that your inventory is literally one. Yeah. Like, what kind of human can only carry a key and not a pair of pliers as well? Huh. What are you gonna do to him? I need something over there, but ah. I can't. He's sleeping on it. We're doing this a little ah. out of order from what I was. Bummer. Uh -oh. oh, there he uh -oh. is. Uh oh, uh oh. Right. oh. Spaghettios. Come and get me. Where is he? I don't know where he went. I give you the slip. Or I gave him the slip. One of us gave one of us the slip. Can you? He's gonna get you again. He might. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's right here someplace. <laughs> no! Get it! Get it! Get it! <laughs> Sorry, headphones. Come on. There. Uh-oh. 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 Mr. Meowth is on my now thing now. Now we get to see uh, uh, How phone. do I get back? How did, uh, AJ closed the game on accident. <laughs> how do I get back? Oh. There we go. Oh, I got well, it. I got it. Who knows what my lock screen looks like? Congratulations. I need you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear Woo! me. I don't know how Rod didn't bother to get me and all that. All right, map. What am I doing? How am I getting back to your lock screen? Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't understand. This is why uh, I don't play games on a phone, I guess, because I lock myself out I'm of the guessing game. If you slide a certain way, oh, that yeah. if you slide this if way, you are 
sliding it's up gonna from bring the, the screen up. You can possibly so when you're trying yourself. to use an item, you're sliding. Oh, when I'm trying to use the inventory yes, over you're here, you're sliding like instead that. of the button. I'm not trying to, but well, I can't yes. even. I can't even interact with it. I've been missing that like interact button because I'm hitting here and you have to hit down there. This is the dangers. Oh of my goodness. Using a phone to control a game. This game would be so much more fun if I was playing it not on a mobile phone. Ooh. I wonder if I just walk out the door. Will he get mad at me if I just walk out his door? He might. What are these? He set up a bunch of chairs. What for? He got you good. Are they really chairs in there, or are they just... I don't know. I can push that one over. Do it. Which way am I supposed to push it? Apparently, I can only push it one way. Push. push. Oh, oh, that's how you get out. Maybe. No, maybe. Uh, I, oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Do you think he's going to... It's really nice of him to... Uh, Rod is napping, trying to make noise. Really nice of him to set up all those boxes for you to be able to climb out the roof. It was kind of nice of him, actually. Given uh, that really went poorly last time. Map. Jeesh. Wow. Okay. So, I feel like cinema. we had better luck playing last time, and I don't yeah, know Yeah, I don't know if my fingers just got pudgier. I got I plubby know. thumbs. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think that my uh, touch screen capabilities were so bad. To be fair, though, I really, like, there's an entire generation of you guys now that are used to touch controls. They are not my thing still. Like, I grew up with controllers and to a lesser degree with, like, mouse and keyboard. Hey. There we go. That's what I was looking for, except, no. Hey, hey. Open it. Open it. Oh, he's going to catch me again. Is there nothing? He did catch me. There was nothing in there anyway, it didn't look like. There's supposed to be something in there. Oh, you gonna put me back? I told Nate we were gonna have such an easier time because I knew exactly what we had to do this time. Look so at this us. This is our practice run, clearly. Not having an easier time. At least I know what I'm trying to do, but man, I'm not doing it well. Okay. So. Huh. What has changed? What will he let us do this time <clears> that we <throat> couldn't do before? Can I go back out? <laughs> no, he sealed that. <laughs> no one likes you. Oh no. Nobody likes him. I actually kind of like him. He's growing on me. The more times I get to play as him, the more I like I him. I like our version of him. Or he's uh, a little less creepy and a little more inept. Fair. A little wackier, zenier. Something blocking the door. Alright. This is the last time I'm here, so clearly I will lose mm -hmm. the game next time I. Ah, uh, do you get anything? There's a hammer. Ah, okay. Hmm. Now I can probably pull the nails out up here. Hmm. Doot, doot, doot. Go up, go up. You'd like to think you can walk up. Go there. up. Can I not this time? Oh. Is that how he got me? Is I can't walk up there? He broke your leg so that you can't walk up a box. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Go up there. I can't get up there. Ha! Huh. <laughs> All right. So there's something else I'm supposed to do with this. Doesn't seem right. You can do anything with the electrical box? Let's take a look. Where is it? It's in that corner right there, yeah. Whoop. Hey. Uh, no. no. I need the pliers for that. Which I found in here and I took out to the truck, I think, because I was like, Oh, no. These are going to be useful for something else. They were. I got the thing. It was, I think, candles or something in there. Oh, no. Oh. Can I throw it out the window? Is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Don't know how that's gonna help me, but wait, I'm up here. Okay. Interact. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh, oh, uh -oh. there you go. Oh! Oh! He was like waiting for you. Oh. He was waiting for you. I have been captured too many times. Oh no. <sighs> now we get to see Rod's. Oh my goodness. Great house. The recipe for happiness is within everyone's reach. <laughs> Oh no, that's me. Grade A plubby kid. Yo, he's got Grass a sick, like big hat in his backyard. He does. It's really cool. Oh no, that's me getting frozen in a freezer. It's weird I don't know. cryptic <laughs> fridge. <laughs> that's so, where I keep my meatloaf. It's the TARDIS isn't looking so great right now. Human meatloaf. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hand it back to you again. Alright, let's, uh, oh, let's my I'm all this. thumbs and not in a good way I'm apparently. All thumbs. <laughs> Woo! Try this again and not. I didn't think it was gonna be hard. I'm like, we got this, we got this, and then I'm like, like I can't, I can't push any of these buttons. All right, so I we're... do think that not being able to hear at all is not helping us, but yeah. So don't interact. 
with the thing this time. See if you can actually drop that instead of shooting it. No. AJ. Yeah. If you could write music to be featured in any game, it might go out the what window when game it's... would you want it to be? Music for any game. Yeah. Whatever. Like you get invited to help work on the soundtrack. Um, I think working on a Kirby soundtrack would be really cool. Can you pick it up now? Maybe. And interact with it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now you have one. Uh, but it apparently only shoots once, so I don't know what you can shoot it with. Uh, also, like, you're going to have to drop it to pick up the map and then pick it yeah, back so up. Yeah, so you're going to want to throw it's it in the truck in when the you butt. get a chance. So just toss it in the truck. It's not open yet. You have to get him to come out and all yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that is the map. So you don't have to have him come out. Where is he? Oh, there he is! There he is. That bad old Mr. Rod. Um, so yeah, a Kirby game would be super fun. The Kirby soundtracks are just amazing. They make my ears dance. Aww. Uh-huh. Um, I think that would be maybe my number one pick. But, I don't know. Anything like with it. Nintendo is fun, to be honest. <laughs> also, I really want to work with Toby Fox one day. I love his soundtracks for Deltarune and Undertale. Go! I think that would be one of the best things, too, would be to get a chance to work on tracks alongside him. Bummer, dude! If I could pick up something accurately, <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten caught. I know. It's so but hard. No, to, it's the, so hard the, to The, like, touch box, uh, the... Yeah. Not the touch box, the... This is for like people with murder fingers that are like, like the <laughs> pencil. Oh, he's already there. Yeah, you need like stylus fingers to play phone well, games. It's also like apparently. the 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 area of like where you're able to pick up the slingshot is so thin. You end up just like grabbing. I'm imagining this kid is like grabbing nothing next to everything. Like I want it. There, Give it there to he me. Is. Go backwards. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you watch the, like, I don't get it. I watched the an entire Let's Play through this game, and they made it look so easy. See, you're not close enough. You're not, not close, close enough. enough you're aiming at, you're shot. not close enough. I don't know how they made it look so easy. Everything they wanted, they just kind of, like, did. Except for interacting with the map. They were, like, doing a lot of trying to interact with the map, and it wouldn't let them because he was too close. But everything else, I was like, okay, looks easy. Not easy at all. <laughs> If you've played this, maybe it's easy for you, and maybe you just have tiny fingers. And I'm gonna judge you, tiny finger people. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. It's, it's time to kill him! No, don't go on the fence! I don't actually know if it actually helps to kill him, though. Shoot him? You could. But then it's kind of a waste. Shot. Yeah. I wanna do it just because it annoys me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is there a game series that you guys think Random Encounters music would actually fit the best in with? Ooh, that's a good question. Chat, if you think, can think of any game where our music uh, should show up, ah! let us know. <laughs> no! Oh, he's too close. Damn. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this, is a, this is a frustrating one. It's weird. It's weird. I printed this out. I was so confident. I'm like... Here it is. Here's like our 18-step plan to instant success at Ice Cream 2. I really thought we had it. those steps, like, have a control scheme that doesn't suck? <laughs> no, you don't actually have that option. Oh, okay. There is no option for that step. Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. Oh, good. Kill me. End my suffering. Oh, I thought he came around the corner. I don't see him. that way. Oh. oh. There you go. He's lost you, so now just keep no, him on the other no. side of the truck. There you go. You can go in and you can select the... Oh! Ooh. <laughs> wow! You couldn't keep going. Yeah, what happened there? Now get in the truck and you can uh, probably do it. All right. Oh, come on. Don't worry, he will. And I say, if you get out, you're going to draw him off more. What? See, oh, he's he gone now. He can't go that way. He's gone more. Go back in the truck. Do it. Oh, he is sawing the window. Okay, never <laughs> mind. Oh, he just had to have a window open in the back, didn't he? He's not selling ice. I guess he stole a kid. No, never mind. I take it back. He needs to have the window open. No, oh, he's coming back around. There you go. You got him this time. I believe in you. Good. There you go. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 this you guy. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing this. He has like a sixth sense. He can tell. He's a uh, mind melded with his truck. Find you this way. He knows everything the truck knows. I'm not getting in the truck that way, then. There you go. Do it. Do it. All right. Cinema. 
There you go. Woo! What All right. Step joke. one was Step get the one. slingshot. Didn't work. Step, Step two, one was get in the freaking van. Get the blankets. Not even. You had to get the blankets and climb out. I don't care about that. Step three, pick up the map. We did that. Step four, go to the cinema. Now you need to look in the car trunks, and you're trying to look for the toolbox and a bottle of perfume. Which I didn't think was going to be so hard. He's found you someplace. What the heck? Well, that's why I guess he snuck up on me so easy. There's one of your things. Get that. Cool. You're going to want to throw that in the truck when you get a chance. Uh, wow! Could I not get stuck <laughs> on trucks? No, you have to. You have to get stuck on the trucks. See, I think they're supposed to be there to like help put distance between you guys. But it doesn't ever feel helpful. They're most... there to get in my way. <laughs> I hate digital analog. Are you guys disappointed that our Ice Cream Man song, this like second one, was instead of like this do, 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 like bad 80s synth, we did like a, a big band thing? Because I, I don't judge anybody for oh, wanting go. like... No, he's going to get me because I couldn't like walk properly. Jay, help me out of here, please. Mr. J, help <laughs> me out of here. <laughs> eh? Nope. It'd be better if my legs were actually broken. <laughs> Where is he right now? over there. Yeah, he can see you like everywhere. That's too bad. I like that nobody cares. You're in the middle of a drive-in movie and everyone's just watching this like loading screen. No one is apparently in these cars because no one's getting out to help you or anything. All right, he's on the other side. So hopefully he leaves you alone for a little bit. Like that. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah, get to the other side while well, he's doofing around. Okay, so we got one of the two things we need. We just got to find ourselves a bottle of perfume here. Think you can do it? Uh, if I was... Oh, that's it. That's it. Grab that and get back inside. And now we're going to leave for the circus. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't think I realized it, but apparently you can just go to his, like, shack. So get caught doesn't need to be on here. I'll scratch that one out. You could just choose what am to I go. What doing there. at the circus? Okay, step one, you need to go take a look in the trash cans for a way to get into the comic book store. Because Dungeon okay. Comics, if you try to go in the door right now, they'll tell you you don't have um, the thing you need. All right. So when it's safe, you gotta find some trash cans and rummage through them. Eh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. It'll tell you you can interact if you get close to one. That one you should be able to. There you go, but you have to hold the button. Or you don't? I guess just once is good. Okay. You didn't find anything interesting. Boo. That's what people <laughs> discover when they come to our channel. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, what are these guys make? Mm, I didn't find anything interesting. That's not true. <laughs> All right, so there's a bunch of garbage cans. They're mostly, I think, on that street, unfortunately. So you'll probably end up sneaking back over and digging through. Oh! <laughs> oh! I say, if you get him to come over here, you can just run all the way back down. And I think you'll get away from him, okay? Look at him walk. Playing Rod, like the most fun thing about it. You might want to take off now. <laughs> the most fun thing is just walking like an idiot places. All right. <laughs> so, find more garbages. You already checked the one on that corner, right? Yeah, what's in this one? Rummage, rummage, rummage. Do it! Do it! This is what I also do, is I go down the street just <laughs> reaching in garbage cans, and I don't find anything interesting. This is accurate to real life. What about this one? I like that at least we're hearing the musical cue now. Maybe it's because there's like no background music in the game. True. Maybe. Nothing, 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 nothing. What about you? This is the one. I feel it in my bones. Gwen, you feeling it in your bones? I unfortunately oh, I don't it. have a deep connection to a garbage can like you do. Oh, I thought she was going to say, oh, I actually don't have bones. <laughs> I have no bones. Huh, we didn't find anything in any of these. So well, we're also the garbage cans. Hmm, don't want to get too close to him. Of course, I don't even know where he is right now. Right. Probably around the corner, unfortunately. Hmm. When you need a garbage and you just can't find one, stick your hand in a post box instead. <laughs> did we do that one or did we not? Because we did that one. I don't remember if we tried that one next door. This one? Yeah, did you do that one? I 
feel like it might have been the first one you did. <laughs> I like this, like, moonwalk. Yeah, you did that one. Okay, so we need to find... Is that one across? No. Is that it's one? Right oh, he's going to be, like, right there, though. He's going to totally get us. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. Where? Where is he keeping all the garbage cans? There, there. Ooh. Ah! There, he there he is. There he is. He's guarding the one garbage we need. Um, so, yeah, of my 18 steps on here, we're on number six. Seven. Number seven. Oh. Where is he? Can you cut through the tent? To... Where is he? I don't see him. He's around this corner. Oh! He was around that corner. Well, if he comes in the tent, you can just loop around. Yeah, maybe trick him. There you go. Man, this kid just, like, picked up his feet a little bit. He walks too noisy. All right. Let's see if it's in here. This was a, a an ambitious hiding spot. Eh? There we go. Okay, so you can take that back to the comic book store now. And they should let you in. Yeah, that's smart. I like where your head's at. Meaning on oh, your right. shoulders, not oh, in Rod's ice cream yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's right there. You could go even further around the back, maybe? Yeah, we just see what he's gonna do. Sure. If he does something other... Oh, than that! <laughs> he doesn't make it easy on us, does he? Not even once. Alright. So as long as he like takes a weird walk around the building. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's over there. Keep going. Okay, he went. I was like, is he? <laughs> I didn't even see him. He was disappearing into like the building textures. Okay. There you go. Now, you'll find that your friends here want to talk to you. What's up, What's up Jay? AJ, I'm AJ. A piece that I found out there. Surely you know what to do with it. Maybe. If you bring me something pretty, something I'll give it to you. Pretty. It, Gwen, what? can I bring you over to him? You're gonna trade me for <laughs> what are you trading? Me I for? need some. I forgot. Interesting. Something interesting. I think. Something said. pretty. You're interesting and pretty, so it's, I should be like no deal. Is it the perfume? <laughs> this guy. Yes, it is. The King, I am the Burger He's King. Great. I like this, uh, the King. I pledge fealty to the King of the Dungeon. We should have gotten Nate dungeon. a crown for this. Who what? We should have gotten Nate a crown for this. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, is that pretty? Yeah. It, Look, it's got a heart on it. It's He's pink. up on top of the tent. You see that? Rod is? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't go up there. He's on the tent. I don't know how he... Actually, I do think Super I know cool. how he got it. Uh, sure. I could do something with this. Uh, and I've got a lid You smell for it. a lot better now. I've got the lid for it now? What is no, this? you've got a door handle. Oh, okay. You Let's better go put it in the van. Go to the van? Yeah, you're going to need it very late in the game. Assuming we make it very late in the game. Am I going somewhere else now? You are going to need to go up to the apartment. No, that's still here. Oh. Sorry. You got more to do here at the circus. All right. So, you need to find your way up into the apartment building. It should be to the left. Assuming Rod doesn't find you first. So, there's a stairway up right here on the right. Yeah, you're going to need to use that. Where is he? Is he up on the circus then still? I hope. All right, so inside here, you're going to need to find two things. You are charged with... Discovering some cat food and discovering a clothes hanger. Can you find either of those things? I will try. Hmm. So far, I'm a little disappointed. You found <laughs> creepy photos of those guys. You found a toilet. Is this Rod's apartment, you think? Or just... You can hide in the shower, apparently. I don't know what it would matter. If he comes in here, there's no way you're getting out. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine a clothes hanger might be in the closet. Hey, good find. All right, I so... Take this all the way back to the freaking van. You could leave the clothes hanger, I think, just outside here. And then continue your look for the uh, cat food. 
Where are you going to find the cat food? In the fridge? In the fridge. I keep it. No one has anything in that fridge. That fridge is the most barren fridge I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my goodness. Cat food, cat food, cat food. Cat food? No. No. This is how AJ feeds the cats as well. He just wanders around the house being like, cat food, cat food, cat food. What's that? Cat food. There you go. Matt, go put that in the truck. It's open. Gross. If you can. Oh, oh no! I'm so done. Oh no! Go hide, go hide, go hide. Get <laughs> off the chair! Go hide! Get off the chair! <laughs> go hide! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> How do we know when it's safe? It's not safe yet. He's gonna be like, there's cat food on the floor, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. I left myself a snack to have uh, in so the back. So let's answer a question or something while we sit here and wait for it to be safe. <laughs> this guy. Since who knows how long it'll take him to get out of this house. It took you a while to get in, so we have to assume he'll be here for like an hour. An hour? Oh my goodness. Ye. Yeah. Um. All right. Um, All right. I'm gonna leave. Let's even get that cat food back out to the truck. Yeah, that's nice. At least, that unlike Granny, I feel like you can actually find the things that you like. Sit down. The tension is real. Are you oh kidding me? man! <laughs> oh, <laughs> this guy! You throw it in the toilet. <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> like barely was away. If we were, like, confident in our ability to hit him in the face with the cat food. But that's a yeah. big risk. Because once you don't have it, you don't have it. <laughs> All right. So, here. I can give you an alternative. Oh. Okay. As an alternate quest? So, instead of taking the stairs back down to the truck, if you get up to the roof, you jump. You jump off. <laughs> I assume it hurts, though. You can't actually jump. But if you take the clothes hanger up... You can slide down on the like cable. Like a zip line. Yes. The problem is you still need the cat food. So it'd be best to get the cat food, throw it out so it's outdoors at least. Is that then the grab the coat to hanger. grab the hanger? No. I we... think the hanger is only used for that, but you do have to get up there at some point. So I would recommend pick up the cat food. When you get to the door, just chuck it as far as you can outside so you can pick it up later without coming back in here. And then I would grab the coat hanger. You know, I'm sure he'll be waiting. Grab the coat hanger and get upstairs and slide down the thing before he gets you. I think this will work. All right, so when you have a clear throw, get rid of it and grab the coat hanger. Grab it. Get it. Uh, oh, okay, okay, upstairs, upstairs. You have to climb a ladder first. Oh, oh no. <laughs> climb that ladder. Go. I would like to climb the ladder. Oh, okay. And oh then the cable up here, it, it should be up. It's up. It's up. Right there. There you go. Interact. Oh. All right. Hop down. Okay. She laid it rot. So you escaped him for the moment, although I think that's how he got up on top of that, maybe. So he might be able to follow you. Unfortunately, you need to keep the coat hanger around because you have to do that again. But you should go get the cat food first and get it back to the truck. So don't take the hanger to the truck? Uh, just leave it because you, you have to bring the cat food back here anyway. Oh. So go see if you can retrieve your cat food safely. And once you get back to the truck with it, then switch for the coat hanger and we'll figure out how to get back up there. You swine. Oh. It's all right. Lead him on a little merry chase. Woo! I feel good. We're like, we're part of the way through this list now. There you go. Oh! I was hoping he had actually rounded that corner. Yeah, right? I guess you have to, like, keep him interested a little bit longer. It is weird that you have to keep Rod kind of, like, fascinated long enough that he doesn't lose interest and be like, Oh, I'm going to turn around. All right, your cat food's on the ground right beside you. Yeah. There you go. All right, get it back to the truck. I'm like, where is he? Where did he go? Did the aliens get him? Alrighty. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, back alley. 
All right, you're going to switch that once you get to the truck, throw it in, and grab your coat hanger one more time. We've got a little excitement to, to do. All right, coat hanger time. You're going to get back upstairs, and you're going to need to make a, a little ride with it. There you go. All right, so head back upstairs. Get on the ah! there is. get on the cable when you get a chance. Oh. <laughs> Your kid is plubby. He can't just go. He has to think about it and sum up some energy. All right, so upstairs. This time you get on the cable, make sure you're facing the tent so that you can kind of see what you're about to do because this is a timing situation. Mm. There's a weak spot on the tent, and you need the force of riding a cable down to actually make it through. You can kind of see it from here. So, that spot. That. Yeah, you're gonna hop off. So I need in to get to on this right it. now. Yeah, and then you need to aim, and you're gonna hop off. Oh, Ooh. that's a straight drop. Okay. Yeah. So right. I try thought there was gonna be like a little like physics yeah, momentum. momentum. <laughs> Apparently not. I don't know where he is. I don't trust that he's not. Doesn't look like he's up there. If he is, this will be embarrassing. Yes, it will. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Got you. Back. I wish I had said anything. <laughs> oh! Uh, it's like he knew. What the fart? I don't even know what he was doing up get, there. I don't know. I didn't think. Does he, he saw have me. nothing better to do? I don't know. I guess if uh, like his truck keeps getting stolen, then right, he has well. nothing better to do. Then all right. So there should be. Some things that are worth doing here as well, if you can pull them off. Um, there should be a key to just open the door at some point, and those pliers are what you're gonna need to be able to snip the wire and get the candles. Oh, by the tent. Yeah. I don't actually know if uh, we technically need them or if it's just for like, story stuff. I'm trying to remember huh. if they're actually relevant. It's possible you can do the whole story without the candles. What's he? What's he he's, doing? He's moaning about something. Hmm. He's not happy. That's him stretching. Is that like he's he's tired? He's having he's a rough not day. Twenty twenty's not treating him too well. <laughs> he's like, I can't kill any children because they're not outside. This is the worst year I've ever had. <laughs> Poor guy. Our sympathies are with him. Uh, His inability of, to chase people. Of the current situation, uh, the oh. chat asked me earlier if you ever, Hi. if we. It's ever, like a zoo. You're watching him outside. Okay. Sorry, what? Uh, if we ever use any of the costume masks as masks outside. I have. I was going to say, I think you enjoy it. I've used, I think, only two? You used our Soldier 76 mask Three. for a long time. That's right. That one is... So that is one of the three masks that I can yeah. think of off the top of my head. I'm trying to think of what Where they are. That? You've used the rookie helmet a lot. He's the rookie used, helmet from Keep Talking. He's used Calculator's helmet from the Power and of Darth Pong. Darth Calculator <laughs> from the Power of Pong. I once walked into Walmart with um, that on and got he, a lot of high fives. What the heck? That's great. I don't, I don't know what he's up to out there. Leave, uh, do you want to tell them about your current mask? My current mask? Uh, the one I've been using the most. I've got two... Um, if you follow on social media, uh, I post occasionally pictures of whatever stupid mask uh. I'm going out in today. So I've got um, a Shy Guy mask recently that I picked up that is very cute. It's a lot of fun to wear, and I have a little red hood to wear with oh. it, too. There he is. Are you going to like hey. do something that lets me leave? Go take no, a, I don't think so. I'm go just going to stand here and pick my butt for a while. Go take a nap. <laughs> I'm not even sleepy yet. It's only 9 o'clock. Um, uh. I also, though, recently got a Shredder mask from Ninja Turtles, um, like a helmet with the like faceplate. And that one I actually wear more because it doesn't obstruct your vision or fog up or anything. Also, the Shy Guy one kind of crushes your nose in like this. So it actually makes you sound like a Shy Guy. Like, wow. Um, but the, the Shredder one. Well, I don't know what to do since he's not going to let me leave ever. You could wait and see him walk by again, and even if he doesn't go to sleep, you're like, at least you know he's 100% on the other side. Suppose. Or you just uh, go out and give him a hug. Throw this out the or window. Or you just go give him a hug and commit to losing extra lives. That's right. Woo! That's right. Yeah. The rookie one is really cool. I actually feel like for people that really hate wearing masks, 
wearing a riot helmet is a pretty good alternative because people can still see your expressions. You can make whatever face you want and they'll actually see you on like, you know, a face mask like this. Um, so if, if you don't like making faces at people, a riot helmet is actually decent because you can have a sort of face to face conversation still. Um, plus you look like you're there to kick some butt. People kind of give you a wide berth when you have like military gear on. Um, so I like wearing that in. Uh, there you are. Yeah. It feels less restrictive. Weasel. Yeah, and he's going to come out around to your left. So get out and take a right fast. Um, how do we feel about fan art? We love fan art. All sorts of fan art. We're a huge fan of it. We are. I, I don't think there's any with. like greater compliment yeah. than to get uh, art for your art. Like, It's really awesome to feel like... Everyone's just having fun creating things, and they were inspired by something you did. So we it love to see fan stairs. art. Maybe it's over there. Um, you can email us photos of it. You can send us the real thing to our PO box. You can it's post it to Twitter, one. post it to Instagram, oh, and tag us. Like we love seeing it everywhere and anywhere. Unfortunately, I don't know where he starts either. So he might be on the stairs already. This building? Yes, <laughs> and he's right there. <laughs> he's on the stairs already. <laughs> get him to chase you, and you can probably get up. Uh, what made you decide to give Rod a jazz song? Um, so it is musically similar to his little song that he hums. So to me, it was just a how do you take you know a little tune that somebody sings like how do you make that more fun? Uh oh, oh there it is. Okay, I'm like, ooh, what if you get up here and there's nothing? Okay, so we're gonna try this again. This is like the last thing we kind of have to do here. I feel like is successfully do this and it kicks off some easier things Come on. so that's why is just you know all playing with different ideas that was the easiest one to i pushed the oh, button oh no i pushed the button oh no i pushed the button you tried for sure I pushed it <laughs> if it was an ah! actual button instead of one ah! little spot on a phone screen i think it would have been easier there he is Hey, if you track him over here to like the circus tent, maybe you can. Hey, buddy. Or just make him do a lap around the building again. Nope. No, he's, he's going upstairs. Go upstairs. Yeah, make him leave. Make him leave. He can't do that. Oh. That's your house now. <laughs> he moved out. <laughs> he lost his right to be there. Hey. Stinky. Hey. Stinky. Follow us. I'm going to take you someplace exciting. This back alleyway. <laughs> Come get me, buddy. That seems good. All right. Make it quick so he doesn't, like, see you on the stairs somehow. Although I guess if he follows you up the stairs, as long as you slide down, it won't matter. <laughs> I like how you can get caught on, like, that. That weird ledge. Okay. I believe in you. You I can do it. You, I, I believe in you. I just don't believe in my phone. What? Oh, no! What? Oh, uh, no! Uh, I think I we just pushed threw... the button! Uh, I think we just threw the thing off the roof that we needed. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> is it on the roof now? It's on the side of the roof. Oh, you can crawl down uh, to get it? Spider-Man, Spider Spider-Man. <laughs> can you get it? Yes, you can. All right, let's try that again if possible. Without how, getting busted. How did we... He's down there, so you're I'm, safe to hop I'm down. I'm hyper confused about how we got where we are. Unless the stairs are under you right I now. I slid down the roof, Glenn. Mm, don't do this in real life, kids. This would hurt. Oh. Oh, you can walk along this. Okay. That's pretty impressive for a plubby kid. I'm not going to lie. Why are, we, why are we sending Tom Cruise on these missions we could send this kid? All right, let's do like something right for once. I would love to see us do something right for once during the stream. Get on the thing. All right, and there you go. Great job. Ooh. You have a new mission while you're in here. Your Don't mission die. is to find the sewer uh, passageway. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. And you can put that down, I think, now. Eh? Oh, there you go. All right. Are you going in? Yeah. Go ahead. He doesn't have access to go this right on. now, so. Go in there. <laughs> go in. Go in. All right, so you found the sewer entrance. You need to go. Uh, I'm not sure Do I where. Do need to exactly. go hangar at all anymore? I don't think so. Ever? I'm pretty sure it's done. Blech. 
Now it's in the sewer water. The poopy water, as you will. Um, uh, it doesn't look like you're getting through this way. Do, 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 do. Um, the chat would like to know if we're getting more Shovel Werewolf this year. Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Um, Whether you want it or not. <laughs> we're doing that soon, a... right? Uh, it's... Bleh, bleh, that words. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to play and talk. <laughs> Um, we're actually filming the uh, rest, the the final season, uh, season five. Right there. Wait, wait, wait. There's a poster or something. Can you interact with that? This? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Go inside the creepy hole. Okay. How do I duck? <laughs> How do you duck? Oh, you push the little the, walking man. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's dark in here. I can't see anything. Well, we should try to find our way through it. Uh, this is a safe spot. He can't come in here, right? Yes. All right. Season five of The Shovel War Elf is the final season. We are filming it next week. Um, and it starts on September 19th instead of our usual October schedule because there are seven episodes this season that will run from the 19th to the 31st. 31st of October will be the final episode ever of The Shovel War Elf. Ooh, so uh, final one ever. The ending. The wrap-up. The, the finale. The wrap-up. There's going to be a wrap episode, I heard. Hey. I don't think so. I, I would pay to watch the Shovel Werewolf rap. All right, so you found what your next task is. Unfortunately, you, you can't get it because it's locked onto the wall. So you're going to need a tool to, to deal with that. However, if you go up this ladder here, you can get back a little easier. Easy if, if you, you could try. If I can, use, <laughs> if I, try if I can learn how to use a ladder. <laughs> All right, so... There's a door. This is a, on the storefront um, where the garbage cans were you're picking through. Okay. But this door is locked. You have to unlock it from this side. So, where is the latch? Uh, other side. It's too uh, dark. There you go. Alright, so it's been unlatched. Now you can leave. And you can get back to that gas can from here, too. Am I leaving the carnival? No, you need to go back to your truck. You remember you went to the toolbox and picked out something? You should have left it in the truck for yourself for later. Where are you going? Oh, the truck was over here. That's over here. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this is all generic stuff that doesn't look any different I'm like, than any other stuff. Look at the truck, and you're like, all right, so Did go you find get your wrench. In there, you turd. Oh, uh, you had cat food. Help yourself out of here. Where's the wrench? No. I threw it in here. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, 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 uh. It's like one pixel that is the there wrench. You go. All right, this guy's so. going to be here because I've been derping around so long. You're okay. the storefront? It was down there further. Uh, so on Rod's to-do list in the musical, it said that John he Yermore? needed to uh, do a bunch of stuff, but also yes. watch YouTube. What do you think Rod watches on YouTube? What does Rod watch on YouTube? Um, I think he watches FGTV. <laughs> they seem like kind of channel that... He would watch. Uh, <laughs> plenty of ice cream. Need to remove the screws. True. To take the plenty gas of ice cream. Canister. They talk about him a lot. Uh, plenty of other fun games they play. Uh huh. And they do all the bops. So. I think he watches Dan TDM. Oh, okay. Trying yeah. to think of some other people that play ice cream that I know I've seen playing it. <laughs> Replayed, obviously. Yeah, so, obviously. So basically, he's he's a narcissist and he just likes to watch people talk about <laughs> okay. him. Is that what you're saying? That's that correct. was a process. Now what? All right. Now get that back to the truck and you're done here. Congratulations. Rod. Well, <laughs> hoops in my cereal. he may do that. That is the kind of thing that he might do. All right. Yeah, you're still good. Back alley? Why don't you take the back alley? It's safer. Woo! Definitely take the back alley. Definitely safer. I don't even know where he is. That he saw me. Yeah, I don't either. All right, throw that in the truck and then let's go. Actually, you don't even have to throw it. You can just check the map. All right, cemetery. We've made it. Most of the way through the list now. Not to say the list is exhaustive. Well, we're almost so. done with the stream. I was going to say. We're not going to beat this game. Oh, no. I don't think there's a save feature either. Uh, I don't think there is, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they expect you to do it all at once. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Here I am. Well, then beat the game the in the next five minutes. Okay. Uh, I'll try. You need that gas can. I need gas. Okay. You need, yeah, get some gas. Gas. All right. Now you need to find a small pedestal along a wall and place that on it. I assume it will tell you when you can interact with. 
Oh! Oh, oh no! What? <laughs> what? This guy came like slithering through the wall. Uh, Ooh! What a goon! He's good. Uh, wow! He's that guy's he's good. good. That guy's good. <laughs> Bummer, man. Ooh! We were just getting to the point where we were planting a bomb. Yes, we're building. I shouldn't say this on YouTube. <laughs> In the game, we use that uh, compressed can of gas to create an explosion. Something. Yeah. I think he's gonna hear that. Well, good for him. I think he's gonna get you. I'd like to see him try. Yeah, I'm like, if this kid is like a plubby-ish kid and drops on him from like 10 feet up, like right on his neck, I imagine that Rod will at least the, this, have some neck problems. This, this continues my uh, argument of in these horror games, just just kill Rod. Hey, does buddy, he I'm you? up here. He doesn't see you, huh? Get me, hey. Hey, stupid. I don't know what he's supposed to do. Like, open the door hey, and run inside head. to come get you. Stupid head. He's Who made a that stupid costume head. for you? Your boyfriend? Maybe. He might. Could be. Uh, sure. Alright, so... Back of the truck. I'm out of here. Alright. So, let's try going back to the cemetery. Let's try. hope that you dropped that uh, gas canister about in the same spot. Although he might spawn in the same place too, so you might just get it and try to leave. I don't remember where he left it. Right there? No. I don't know. I don't know where he left it. I, it was the other <laughs> way. I was just like, oh. I'm going to look for the pedestal first. No, the pedestal is none of these. I like how there's all these obstacles for me to get stuck on. Yeah, right? Great. It really is. That's great. basic. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. You coming this way? Yeah, he's coming that way. Alright, well, now you know where he isn't. There's your gas canister, and you should be able to crawl through that instead. Yeah. Okay. So, is that a spot where you could put it? Oh, you can hide in the graves? That's weird. No, I don't think that is. Okay. Ignore that. I think it's through here, to be honest. I think, yes, along this wall is where you need to... Yeah, that's a broken spot. Okay, so now we need to place the cat food, which is back in the car. Oh, no! Hello! Oh. Hello! Hey there, buddy, what's hey, going on? Hey, friend, though. I've been waiting for you here in the cemetery. Oh, no. It's a really good spot, because I can just leave you when I'm done. Hey, hey. All right, so in the back of your truck, you'll find your cat food, and there's a cat up on that branch right there. I just saw it. All right, so cat food. Get me out of here, please. So put it on the tombstone there. I would love to if I would not be stuck on whatever the heck I was stuck on. All right, so there should be a cat that'll come down there. Cool. Go pick up the cat. We need the cat. My cat. Sorry, cat. <laughs> this is a bait and switch. All right, this now the take the cat, cat. Go to the cinema again with the cat. Oh no! Oh, fart oh, oh no! no! Oh no! I get stuck on things! I get stuck on things! You have one more. <laughs> you got one more try to bust out of here. Get back there, pick up the cat in the cemetery just to leave. So we gotta pick up the cat. Here's a cat. Hi, my dude. Alright, I got a question for you guys. What movie would you bring a cat to see with you? <laughs> What is the proper movie to bring a cat to enjoy? Meow. What is it, my dude? All right, so you need the hammer. MC hammer. Just doesn't look like it's there. Where do you leave it? Where is it at? Meow. My dude. Because I find it really strange that he, like... <laughs> that he invites a cat to the movies with him. Though, when you get there, you're not going to watch a movie with the cat. Oh, why Sorry. Not? Yeah, the cat has more important stuff it needs to do with you. Does Amber. the cat have a name? I don't know. Mr. Monkey. Didn't name him when we were just looking at him. Huh. Where, where is a thing to use to get out of the thing? Yeah, where is the hammer? Where is it? Huh. Dang it, I can't find me that dang diddly darn hammer. Yeah. It's like on the fridge. Eh? Nope. No. Rod is napping. Well, Try not to great. make noise. That's great that he's napping. I'm stuck <laughs> in this freaking shed. Aww. 
Open this. You could use the pliers to cut that instead. Oh, that sounds like a bold play. I assume it'll work. I also assume it'll make noise. Oh, you can't in this one. Huh. So that was the thing that worked in the first one, but it doesn't work in the second one. Okay. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> you guys are like, I've been doing that for like an hour now. I'm, I'm an experienced pro. <laughs> I don't know where the hammer is. Yeah, right? I'm like, where we is didn't it? pick it up and use it someplace else, right? It was so obvious for you. It was like right there on that barrel. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't know where the hammer is. Is it in the back corner beside the fridge instead somehow? There's a couple boxes. Nope. Uh -oh. What's that? What, what, yeah. what, the door? The door. I don't... Use yeah, I was say, it's piled up. I don't know why he made a big mess. Oh, oh it's, it's right there. there. Yeah. So, not super discreet. We just <laughs> weren't looking for it there. Yeah, now we have to, like, jankily get up here. All right, so... Oh, that's going to make some noise. Oh, baby. <laughs> See, this is where when you have a hammer and you drop from the, the sky on is somebody... going to come in here? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna wander around the building in circles. I, like wanna jump onto the ice cream truck. Set it off, like get yourself a little extra noise. I don't know where he is. Hey buddy, do you mind if I come into the house? He's starting to sound a little like, be a little bub, I'm gonna sneak in here and make me some ice cream from your bones. <laughs> he's right there. Yeah. So you're free to. That's supposed to. Oh, where did this hammer come from? Supposed to hit him in the head. But wow, weird. Alas, it did not. No. So continues our lack of ability to is ever he hit gonna him. Gonna just stand there. Well, well all you gotta do is get to the truck. He's just gonna stand there. Then I'm gonna go. Go get in the truck and go back to the cemetery. Get the cat again. Take it to the movies. This is a simple task. You ever want to just take a cat to the movies? Uh, in fact, you guys the, tried to take the cat to the Jack in the Box once. We did. Didn't go didn't well. Go he well. didn't like it. The chat Not Jack thinks in the Box, that you no. should take the cat to see Cat in the Hat or it's Cats the, right. the Musical cats. Yeah, right or <laughs> any. It's just waiting there. Movies. It's just like <laughs> this petrified cat. All right, take it to the movies. Go. We are off my sheet now. Everything from the sheet. This is all. Uh, it's, we're oh, off now script we're now. Oh, now we're winging it. Uh oh. We're doing it live. <laughs> So now this is where it gets interesting. Am I supposed to like put the cat like with a cat altar? I feel like I've seen parts of this played. You have seen parts of this played. There is an alarm clock that we need, and we need to switch the cat for it. So you're gonna find it straight back there. Unfortunately, Rod is someplace near you too. I don't know where. Uh, oh, he's right there. He's like running through the run bushes away. at you. Yeah, get him over here if you can. Oh, don't get stuck. If this is a dead end, dude, you're gonna die. Um, okay. Your hopes have paid off. <laughs> like, this could go really poorly. This cat is so, uh... Yeah, this is the most patient cat ever. I don't think it's real. It's breathing. Look at it. All right, so yeah, you need to get into this back house here. The, like, ticket window or whatever this is. Where's the entrance? It's... You were going toward it, I think, before. Oh, Careful, Rod is... Yeah. Staring. Oh, man, he needs to... Maybe you can attract his attention and get him to come back around this way. What if I throw the cat at him? You need the, <laughs> you need the, the cat. cat. <laughs> this cat is a critical part of what we're trying to achieve here. Where is he? Oh, man. Rod is not enjoying the movie himself. Even. So Cat in the Hat, that's the that's the movie? That's the movie. That's what we're going to go see. Not cats. The, a lot of people voted for that, too. Not Nine lives. Is he gonna go Somebody in mentioned there? that as well. <laughs> He's back. He Why literally went into that building. Yeah, you need, are to, terrible. you need to come out. Uh, yeah, I, that's what I'm getting from this is that unfortunately cat movies just aren't particularly good. I, I don't. That's what I'm afraid. I don't is. understand. Cats are so wonderful. How come we can't get a good movie about them? And, I mean, we can get good movies about dogs and pigs and monkeys, but we can't get good cat movies. What is that? Shenanigans. Mm. We have to make a good. Mr. Cat Mouse movie is now. protesting. <laughs> this cat is so cool with it. He's like, as long as you're giving me attention, I don't mind. <laughs> come on, Rod. Can you just like come sit down and watch the movie for like two minutes? <laughs> nope. I promise I won't tell anybody that you were enjoying the Spice World movie or whatever's playing here. Oh. What? You. Oh. It derped we're for a second. Still here. We're still here. 
We All could right. watch Garfield as well. Stop oh, doing no. this. Oh, no. Okay, well, you can... <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. Get back to the truck with it. Ah, we apologize okay. for that momentary blackout. Thank you for bearing with us. Sorry, uh, y'all, but... In return for the blackout, we offer you a... I don't know why. A free get killed by Rod. This cord didn't <laughs> cause problems last time. All right, so we need yeah. to go put that cat, the clock, with uh, the rest of our bomb. Oh, the chat also wants to... Oh! <laughs> We're not gonna. Well, never chance. mind. We're not doing that oh, anyway. No. That's uh, that's oh, that's no. the end. That's I guess an appropriate stopping point. We were doing well. We got most of the way through the game. We oh, were very close. To be honest, I think we had everything we needed. Maybe. I'm not 100 percent sure. <sighs> we may have missed a step where we need to take one extra. Well, trip. fudge ripple in the back yeah, freezer. We <laughs> were really close because the cemetery is where you get the key to the cage and then you free her. So we just had to finish up this sequence. We did well. Oh. Hey, I feel like we get a little pat on the back. If you guys enjoyed the stream today and you feel like we did an okay job, please hit that like button. It's like giving us a little tip, except it's free for you guys, and it tells YouTube that we actually showed up and did our jobs today. <laughs> because they care whether or not we're actually on the stream, whether we're even trying, whether we're talking to you guys, and uh, oh, I think we try pretty hard. So We're trying hard. Yeah, of course um, we had like a minute of nothing on screen, I guess, when it went black. <laughs> the YouTube algorithm will like that part. Woohoo! Um, yeah. I've got three questions. Oh, oh, I love questions. Okay. Okay. Sign me up. The first question is, what is the best ice cream flavor? Like, the best. The best. I feel like we we don't agree on this answer. Um, I, and if I'm are, not mistaken, are we going to fight? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go? Uh, I think cotton candy is uh, one of the, the most underrated flavors known to man. Oh. That's what I think. Yeah, see? This face. I think cotton candy oh, is disgusting. Oh, my dude. Uh, disgusting. It's not oh, disgusting. Jesus, just what I wanted. A mouthful of hair. <laughs> hair flavored hair ice cream. Hair flavored ice cream. You um, know, in today's Patreon chat, somebody suggested hair flavored ice cream. I used to be a huge proponent of mint chip, and I still love mint chip, but I've recently come to like birthday cake or cake batter a lot Ooh. as well. Um that's true. But I don't know. I'm also like a weird heretic, apparently, I think, yes, in terms of ice cream. Very. Because I really like vanilla over chocolate. What? Like, if I was given the option of no. having just a, like a bowl oh, of plain no. chocolate ice cream no. or a bowl of plain... I mean, a good, a good option is, or example, is that whenever we get milkshakes somewhere, I always get vanilla. You do. And we always That's get true. chocolate. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't understand yeah. that, but... Um, I'm just going to put a bit out for uh, cookies and cream ice cream, which I think has been my favorite since I was, like, 15. Don't mess with those wires, Mr. Moose. I think we don't cookie need dough to go out again. is superior to cookies and cream, but I would let the chat argue that uh, one. We've had this great new ice cream flavor in our house that is a mix of cookies and cream and Chips Ahoy ice cream, so it's... Like it's cookies and cream it's, and it's cookie dough yeah. combined in one ice cream. It's really good. Yeah, it's but really good. I want I want to see the even amongst us. What's the vote? Cookie dough or cookies and cream? Gwen has already I think thrown in for cookies and cream. I am a fan of cookie dough over cookies. And, and cream. I think I said cookie dough as well. But the chat is I think the most important critical determining factor here, which hmm. is better. Uh, hmm. That's okay. We can come back to it. You had no, a second question for me. Uh, I did. So I. Uh oh. Raining. Hang on. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> the face she's making off camera. <laughs> Mr. Meows is trying to help to her now. He's like, let me come up with it. So the owl. Um. Sorry. Let me throw my cat. And then I'll actually put this question together. The chat wanted to know what you can tell us about the shovel werewolf. What to expect this season without any spoilers. Oh. Ooh, without uh, spoilers. Without huh? spoilers. It's really Ooh. hard. We have kept this season, I feel like, on lock more than anything else. Because generally, there's a hint in every Christmas episode to an extent of what's going to happen the next season. Yeah. With, with the exception of maybe season one into season two. But season two into season three, you knew he got captured by Biffalo Bub. Season three into season four, you knew there were going to be aliens of some sort. So season five, we left you on a very... Uh, interesting dark devious cliffhanger because the shovel werewolf uh seemingly died at the end of the season four finale so there's not many clues i can give um we are having somebody guest star in the season um with us who, who will be acting opposite of me 
It's not AJ. Biffalo Bub is not coming back. He is officially dead no, no. or mostly dead. You know, he's trapped in the virtual realm with no God's way out. Not dead. I'm still um, alive. I'm just trapped in that in virtual our realm. He's alive. <laughs> um, there are seven episodes of this season, so there will be seven games. Uh, That's a lot of information, actually. We, we've said that before. The thing is, there's no Christmas episode this year because the season is just definitively ending on Halloween, and it felt weird to either wait till Christmas to end it or to have one episode tacked on after. So it's just ending. There will be seven episodes. Uh, the first game of the season, I feel like I can reveal, because I've revealed that on Instagram, is Sonic and the Secret Rings, which when Neff and Joe was here playing it with us, I believe we did say was going to be in the season. Mm-hmm. So it is the first episode of the season. Woo-hoo. I can't really say anything else, though, because... There you go. That's... I feel like there's, there's too much to... That's an exhaustive recap, though, of, like, things that they have heard about the season. Um, so you can't get deeper than that. That's true. Um, Not yet. The chat has fairly definitively decided that the best ice cream flavor... Yeah. ...is Human. cookie dough. Oh, cookie dough! Yee! Pistachio. Uh, <laughs> Pistachio was put out there. Avocado was put out there. Uh. I didn't know they made avocado ice cream, but... All right, y'all, we need to have a talk. Avocado is not <laughs> like an ice cream tea. flavor. Ice cream, what is this? It's um, not ice cream. Neff wanted to thank you guys since she now knows that being the cotton candy flavor in our credits is now a high compliment since you like cotton candy so much. Why, you're very welcome, Neff. I generally tried to pick ice cream flavors that people like. Mashed potato. Uh, when I picked people's names for our Patreon encounters, um, that's why I didn't pick stuff like pistachio <laughs> and green tea and yeah. shell shock. And yet, these are like half the flavors I feel like I remember seeing like when you go out for ice cream. There'll be like six stations, right? Like frozen yogurt or whatever. And they'll all be things like butt flavor. Yeah, I specifically like banana. declined be- using butter pecan as one of them. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, where are all the good flavors? Why don't they... Like, Cold Stone doesn't have that problem. But I know, like, Menchie's. Those guys keep putting in things that are like, I don't want any of this stuff. Why oh, would I want... fair. They're not ice cream. They're frozen yogurt. It's, it's like true. peach, butterscotch, strawberry... Butt crack. Pickle. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't want that. <laughs> Why is it available? Gwen, Gwen would probably eat pickle They're like, cream. oh, no one's getting this. Pickle. She would try yeah. it. Yeah. All right, and our last question for the day is... They would like to know what we're playing next week. What we're playing next week. I don't know. Uh, do you know? I do. Are we Are we talking about this, how it's oh, actually I do happening know. or what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so we are pre-filming uh, an episode of Replay for next week because we are actually out of town next week filming the entire final season of The Shovel Werewolf. Wow. So we are pre-recording an episode right after this episode. Where we're gonna be in our, I'm gonna be in the Discord, uh, relaying questions to Gwen and AJ, and relaying their responses back to you, and creating as much of a back and forth as possible without having audio and video. Uh, but they're gonna be playing Yandere Simulator, <laughs> so we're gonna be getting to that like probably 10 to 15 minutes after this stream ends. So if you're not in our Discord, um, I'm pretty sure I added it to the About section of Replayed. So you should just be able to click on it, go to our Discord. It'll be in the re, uh, related channel, and yeah, we'll, we'll, it, it'll be interesting, it'll be different, but hopefully it'll still be fun, even though you won't be able to see or hear anything they're doing until next week, where you'll be like, oh, I asked that question <laughs> and got it answered a week later on go. video. Yeah. Uh, I'll relay their response to you in the chat so you at least get your question answered. Yeah. But. It'll be a little bit like... Oh my gosh. Um, like an AMA um, mixed yeah. with, you know, just another little yeah. micro hangout session And they'll session probably ask us. you some questions, too, and I'll give them your responses. Yeah. So the, That's true. The first response was, yay, Gwen gets to kill people. I don't know how I feel <laughs> about this. Uh, I assume Gwen's going to go into our costume closet and at least put on the InfoChan wig. Oh, oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. so. It's sitting there waiting. This is its moment to shine, I think. Maybe. We'll talk about this. Okay, we'll I talk about this. I In like five minutes, though, okay? I have a lot of hair. <laughs> you do have a lot of hair. I uh, like it. It's pretty. <laughs> is that all our questions for right now? That is all of our questions okay. for right now. All righty. Well, thank you guys for joining us again. Oh, it, sorry. The chat did just ask. It will be posted on YouTube. Yes, next Friday, oh, yes. we are going to be posting this Yandere uh, Let's Play. Uh, we're just pre-recording it instead of doing it as a stream because we will be busy all yes. day next yeah. Friday. We can't stream for you guys and film Shovel Werewolf at the same time. It won't work. 
So we, we have to pick one or the other. We won't even have our streaming capabilities. Yeah. So. so we're going to be recording a Let's Play next week that won't be live. But we want mm -hmm. to feel kind of live by having a live experience with you guys while we're filming it. Right. So it's kind of like a weird behind-the-scenes AMA thing where you guys can be talking with us while we're recording that episode for right. next week. So if you can't make it to the Discord, that's okay. You will still get to watch us play next week. It will still be completely available to you. Uh, you just won't be able to contribute questions to us yeah. uh, playing. And it'll be live so. at 5. It'll be just like these video on demand kind of uh, Let's Plays after the stream is over. You can still watch it if you weren't able to make it live with us. So that's what it'll feel like next week is there'll just be a video that goes live at 5 o'clock on Friday and we'll be playing Yandere Simulator. It'll be cool. Yay! Yeah. All right. So we'll see you all next week. and uh, I think Or in like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Get on the Maybe Discord. That. I'll be there in like 10, 15 minutes. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you guys again. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's stream. And consider backing us on Patreon if you want to join the, musical the if Warped you Pack. Yet. That too! It's a really fun song. So, yeah, do that. Please. That'd be really great. That's it. See you guys next week. Beard salute! Woo!